Hey, Kat Sikor here of Coach Kat and Dr. Mimi. Let's talk about the top three things that are draining your energy and what you can do instead. So one of the women that I've worked with, let's call her Jane. When she first came to me, she was complaining about extreme fatigue, low energy levels. It just took everything in her power to get through the day. So she'd, you know, she was told, make sure you're having breakfast. So she'd eat a bowl of cereal at breakfast. She would have coffee, get to work. She'd be hungry just a few hours later and she'd be tired already. So she'd snack on some chips or snack on some carbs because carbs are energy, right? And it just kept going all day, reaching in that candy drawer at work, popping a couple little snack size, sized Snickers, that's a tongue twister, and feeling so tired that she was cracking open a monster energy drink and drinking that, trying to just get through the day. And by the time she got home, she was so mentally and physically drained from that work day that she just wanted to sit and relax and try to recover and rest. And this cycle happened day after day after day. And she couldn't figure out why she was so fatigued and tired. The top three things that are dra that drained her energy that are probably draining yours too. Number one, choosing, choosing to relax and be sedentary. Number two, trying to get more energy from drinking a ton of coffee and energy drinks. And number three, sugary, starchy foods, trying to get energy through uh, high carb, starchy, sugary foods. Now, if you're okay being fatigued, if those three things are working for you and you're fine having low energy, it, the rest of this video definitely isn't for you. But if you want to make a change, if you are tired of feeling tired and fatigued, these next three tips are going to be just for you and easy that you can go take action on right now. So first, cheers for the water. We'll talk about that in a second. So the number one, if the number one thing that's giving you fatigue is choosing complacency, my tip is go and be active. Choose movement. When you get home and you're so dead tired, you, your brain just is telling you to relax, do the opposite. Do the counterintuitive, get up and move. Go for a 15 minute walk. 1% of your day is 15 minutes. Get up, go move. Moving your body is going to give you energy. Your mental state often reflects your physical state. So if you sit down and you're on the couch and you're just relaxing, you're gonna feel more tired and like just blah. But if you get up and start jumping around and moving, you're gonna create energy within your body. Go move your body, 1% of your day, 15 minutes. Now my tip here is prepare to succeed. If you know when you get home, you're gonna go take a 15 minute walk or you're gonna put on a 15 minute walking video from YouTube, whatever it is for 15 minutes of intentional activity, put out your shoes, lay out your clothes, have your water bottle ready to go, have everything prepared so that it, it eliminates all of the obstacles or excuses that you could come up with. Instead of choosing to relax, choose to move. It's number one, you're gonna feel more energy. Number two, cut those energy drinks, reduce the amount of coffee that you're drinking. Drink more water, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Did you know one of the top symptoms of dehydration is fatigue? Dehydration, one of the top symptoms is fatigue, along with headaches, constipation. So if you have any of those symptoms, I would first ask you, how much water are you drinking each day? If you're just drinking a couple glasses of water, increase that. Now it's recommended that you drink half of your body weight in ounces of water each day. Now that could be way more than you're drinking right now. So my recommendation is to start small. Get a glass of water, put it next to your bathroom sink and make a habit of every morning when you wake up and you use the bathroom and you're about to brush your teeth, before you brush your teeth, drink that glass of water. Force it down if you have to. Start the day with a glass of water. That's gonna put you out, you know, put you in a great place moving forward. 
My mom loves to put a glass of water next to the kitchen sink and then she just goes and refills it, refills it, refills it, refills it, and she's drinking a ton of water each day. Every time you take a sip of your coffee, take a sip of water. If you do end up drinking that energy drink, every time you take a sip of that energy drink, take a sip of water. One for one, all right? Or just cut those energy drinks and cut the coffee. Try water instead. Let's see how your energy improves. And then the third tip is going to be add protein with your breakfast. So typically, if you're eating cereal or pancakes or you're having waffles for breakfast, that's going to be pretty a higher sugar or a starchy carb. And the problem with that is you're going to have an insulin spike, a blood sugar spike, which is going to lead to a drop, which is going to produce hunger feelings, signals of hunger. So what we want to maintain is a consistent blood sugar level by not even changing the starch. If you only added in more protein, that's going to help slow the absorption of that carb, giving you more stable blood sugar levels. So I'm not telling you to completely 360 your breakfast. I'm just saying add protein, adding protein to it. It could be even one egg, uh, some egg whites, a protein shake, um, a few slices of deli meat or ham, uh, cottage cheese, yogurt, like anything to just increase the amount of protein in breakfast. My tip though, is if you want to energy pack your breakfast, take that sugary or starchy carb that you're eating and switch it, substitute it for a, um, a whole grain or a complex carb of some kind. A complex carb paired with protein, you're going to get much more sustained energy throughout the day. No more feeling hungry an hour after you eat or having massive cravings an hour after you eat and then snacking on candy all day. Nope. Now you have stable blood sugar. It's going to help eliminate those cravings, give you consistent energy through making sure you have protein and a slow absorbing carb. So my tip for that is plan your breakfast. If you go online and search for um, protein packed breakfast, you're going to get so many options. A couple go-tos would be, like I mentioned, a cottage cheese bowl, um, a scramble with wheat toast, overnight oats, where you're doing oatmeal as well as protein that, that's in there. So those are a few great options. And this, these three steps are what my client that I talked about earlier, what she did, and she'll tell you now that she has a 10 out of 10 energy. Just the other day, she was like, I have so much energy, I don't know what to do with it. Ah! So <laughs> I hope that you want that. I would like to hear which of these tips are you going to go take action on right now? Are you going to go drink some water instead of that coffee? Are you going to go take a quick loop around your building, a 15-minute walk, even a five-minute walk? Are you going to make sure that you have protein with your next meal? Which of these are you going to go implement? Comment that below. I would like you to uh, like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube for more tips, and go have a great day.